Okay, here's my bungalow so far. In this video, I want to look at site work, earthwork, uh, putting in sidewalks, and doing some landscaping. So I'm going to be using my site plan a lot, and I'm going to start off by renaming it slightly. I'm going to call it site plan. Double click on that. And then before I do anything, I'm going to change the scale here to a more reasonable setting, say eighth inch. And then just drag these elevation markers back a little bit like this clean it up a little bit. Now to show you where we're going ultimately with this, this will be the final product here with sidewalks and grass and landscaping and a, and a hill behind the house. So let's go back to the site plan. Uh, click on Massing and Site, Property Line. We're going to create a property line by sketching, so click there. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. You could, you could use the line tool if you want. And I'm just going to draw in a site like that. I'm not going to worry too much about uh, dimensions at this point. So I'll click on Modify. And now I'm going to start by putting a small uh, entry, a concrete entry patio and a sidewalk system. So I'll click on site plan again. Actually, I'll go to my floor plan. Oh, I think it'll be easier that way. And a front patio is nothing but really a floor. So I'll go to the architecture tab select floor and my drawing tools come up I'll select a rectangle and I'll put in a little front patio now earlier I set this up to be concrete flat work three and a half inches thick so it's just a slab of concrete sitting on the ground three and a half inches thick um, height offset I want to be zero and that's pretty important so I'm gonna click on uh, apply and let's see what that looks like so go up here click on the 3d view and I have a little entry patio sticking out there now you can apply whatever surfaces you want to the top of this probably using the paint tool is the easiest way to do that you could put on uh, pavers or paint or any any surface you wanted on that also um, I do have the height offset at zero inches which means it's exactly the same finish height as the floor slab in in the house and uh, technically you probably would want to knock this down a couple inches from the floor slab to keep water outside of the house and so forth. Uh, I'm going to keep it at zero just to keep things simple. Now back to my site plan. Click on modify. Go back to architecture. Select floor again. Another rectangle. and we'll run a section of sidewalk out like this. A sidewalk like this would be uh, three, three and a half, four feet wide typically. I'm just going to go with four feet. Now this is giving me the same height offset of uh, minus one foot and I'm going to make that zero at this point and uh, click on the green check and again, again, make sure you're assigning 
the correct material, modify, and then floor again in, in the rectangle tool. And I'll start out here at the property line. Put in a four foot wide stretch of sidewalk and I'm going to lock the four foot dimension in. Click on the green check. I have a gap there and the easiest way to close that gap is to use this tool right here called the Align Tool. Select the end of that one and then select the side of that one and that joins the two together. Click on Modify and that portion of the sidewalk is at zero feet again. I'm going to make that lower than the rest Assume the front yard slopes down. So I'm going to make that minus one foot and apply that. I'll click on modify. Let's go to the 3D view now and see what that looks like. So we have three sections. So our next challenge is to put a slope on this section so it joins up with the other two. That's pretty easy to do. Let's go back to site plan and select that portion and go to edit boundary and then slope arrow right here. This is the key. And draw an arrow from right there down to this end. And uh, the height offset at the tail which is up here, uh, we want at zero. And the height offset at the head of the arrow down here, we want to match up with the other section of sidewalk, which was at minus one foot. Hit the green check. And that should join it together. Let's go to the 3D view. If we've done this right, yeah, so we have a main sidewalk and a ramp leading up to the front patio. Okay, the next thing I want to do is put in my contour lines. So I'm going to start at the site plan. What I want is a hill in the back of my lot and then I want it to level out where the house is and then I need a gentle slope in the front uh, portion of the lot. So I'm on massing in sight. I'll go to topo surface. Make sure place point is selected. Um, I want to start at the, let's say, 15 foot elevation. And I'm going to assign that to the back of my property. So now the back of my property is at 15 feet. I want to set the front of my property down here where the sidewalk is located at is minus uh, one foot two inches like that. Because this sidewalk is finished at minus one foot and I want the dirt basically or the grass uh, to be about two inches beneath that. I'm going to put a point there and a point there. Each one of these contour lines represents one foot. So what Revit has done is, is counted from 15 feet, 14, 13, 12, and so on, down to this uh, front elevation. Now I don't want my sidewalk uh, buried in dirt. So I'm also going to come up here a little ways and fine grade the site back a little bit like that. So now that sidewalk should be visible when we go to our 3D view and then we should have a hill 
that goes back up to the back of the property line at 15 feet. And the house should be partially covered with dirt at this point. So here's our uh, 3D view. The next thing we need to do is just grade this dirt back. Let's go back to the site plan. We know that the finish elevation of the house uh, floor slab is set at zero. So I want to set the elevation of the dirt or grass around the house a couple inches below that. So this time I'll start off by selecting the surface and then editing the surface. Now I'll select place point, minus two inches, and this time I'll just come along here, catch the front corner of, uh, of that patio, and then I'll sort of push the dirt back like that. So that this area right in here has been fine graded, if you will, at minus two inches. So let's go into 3D view. And that's exactly what we have. The next thing we have up here is a little bit of dirt on our sidewalk. So let's go back to site plan. So make sure uh, your topo surface has been selected. In other words, move your mouse to a point right there where you can select it. Click on Edit Surface, Place Point. Um, in this case, minus one foot two inches. In other words, minus 14 inches. And we'll just move that line back like that. Hit the green check. Take a look at the 3D view. And now we can see our sidewalks again. Now go back to site plan. Go to label contours. And we're going to put a label on each one of these contour lines by dragging a line down and you can angle the line any direction you need to. I'm just going to go straight down all the way like that. Hit modify. And now each of the contour lines is labeled. Your numbers at this point might be really small. Just click on one of them. All of them will highlight and then edit type and set the text size at least to quarter inch like I have done here just so you can see the numbers. Now I want to mess on a little bit with this back slope and I'm going to uh, select the topo surface like I did just there. Hit edit and place point and let's make the beginning of the hill sort of a shallow incline and then make it steeper as we go back. So. Let's start off at about uh, two feet. Go across like that. And that pushes everything back. And then you can use whatever increments you want. I'll just go to four feet next. and maybe six and we'll just keep grading everything back like that so that makes the back of the hill very very steep and uh, so you can you can play around with that a little bit I'm gonna just hit the uh, green check at this point you could also make a depression right here at uh, minus uh, two feet and fill it with water um, so you're, you're in no way limited to what you can do with that. Click on Modify and double check that again in 3D. Oh, 
Okay, back to the site plan view. Um, I would like to put lawn or grass in the front. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to use the split surface tool. And then select the topography. And I'm going to put the edge of the grass right along this line. So I'm going to use this uh, spline option here, which allows me to put in a crooked line. I'll just try to follow that contour line fairly closely like that. Uh, at that point, I want to go to a straight line because I want to come down to the bottom of the property. Make sure you have a, a totally enclosed space and hit the green check. I'm going to select that surface. And I'm going to come in here to the materials. There is a grass option right there. Truthfully, your, your best options for grass are in this library right here under um, somewhere in here, site work. And there are quite a few choices for grasses. I'm going to select St. Augustine, so I'm going to double click and then close that out and go back to identity. And uh, I'm going to change the name dash Augustine, like that. Apply. And that should come in as grass. So let's go to the 3D view and take a look at that. So I've got grass in the front, dirt in the back. So I'll just uh, go with that for the time being. There are other options for this dirt, all, all kinds of uh, sand and, and different gravels and different things. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Back to site plan. I'm going to do one more thing with the split surface tool using the rectangle drawing tool. I try to put some dirt around the house for planting. And this is set at earth right now, so I'm going to hit the green check. And just uh, double check that, but I've got a little bit of area for planting right around the house. Click on modify. Okay, putting plants in your project is a lot like placing furniture. And I'm going to go back to the site plan here and go to massing and site. And this time we're going to use site component. So click on site component. Um, earlier I downloaded a bunch of tree and, and bush and shrub options in here. If you don't have the ones you want loaded, go to load family. And make sure you're under U.S. Imperial and all that. And it's probably going to be under planting. So you can go in here and just select one or, or more of these files and click on open. I'm just going to cancel out of that. And they will load into the project. So earlier I went in here and loaded a bunch of different tropical trees and plants. And this is a process of just uh, dragging them over and then setting them down on the plan view. And you just go around and keep planting like that. And then come back here and select 
a different one. Go in and grab some smaller stuff. And just set them in this area. So I'm not going to bore you with all this. I'm going to go away and put some plants in and I'll be right back. So the finished site plan looks like this. And the 3D model looks like this. And one word of caution, with all this landscaping, the model gets really sluggish. So if you're going to be panning and manipulating the model, I would recommend going down to consistent or shaded first. And it makes manipulating your model a lot easier.